What's up guys, Jason Sense here and welcome to Behind the Desk. I think that's almost like a new series I wanna start where, I don't, I don't do series, who am I kidding? But anyway, it's a series I would like to do about more like how we run our business. It's a really unique perspective in a time where there's more self-made celebrities. I don't call myself a celebrity, but it's more self-made people now than ever. I think it's interesting how people run their day-to-days. And I think some of you guys might be interested in that. So if you're interested in it, click the like button, that way I'll know. But anyway, today we're gonna to talk about a very specific topic. In all my videos, I see this over and over, and especially lately with the video about me resurrecting Nick 780, is you have all this stuff. Why? Why do you have all this stuff, Jay? Why are you, why are you ruining the GPU market, Jay? We're gonna talk about that today. We're gonna to talk about some myths. We're gonna set some records straight, and we're gonna talk about the things of like, are we contractually obligated to not sell and give away this stuff? We're gonna talk about all that right now. Do you wanna be cooler? Do you wanna be more desirable? Well, you're in luck because right now you can own your very own Jay's Two Cent swag and immediately be the cool kid on the block. Max out your sex appeal by following the link down below. We're gonna start over here. As I turn blue and I walk in front of my spotlight, color correction, Jay, have fun with this one. This is my AMD shelf, my AIOs, some cases on the floor, headsets, mice, keyboards, the Ghost S1 case that yes, we are doing something with that, I swear, I promise. The AMD graphics cards. Why are there so few of these versus the Nvidia? Look at that shelf, Nick, look at that. Obviously, we are NVIDIA shills. Now, here's what happens. I have, a, I have a, a philosophy and a policy around here where I wanna keep at least three years worth of graphics cards. At least three years worth of cards and one card from each tier. That way, if I need to do any backwards compatible testing, future-proof testing of past hardware, uh, we need to have all of that. We need to have at least one card of every generation. That means we need a 280, a 280A5, a 285X, a 280X, a 290, 290X, all of those. And we aim to do that. We have some gaps here with AMD. The reality is AMD has launched a lot less cards in the last three years than Nvidia. Where if you look at Nvidia over here, this goes all the way back to the GTX 580. Reason being is some of these cards I already owned. A lot of these cards are, I've acquired after the channel grew. AMD, like I said, admittedly sends a lot less graphics cards than Nvidia does. I've complained about the fact that Nvidia seems to launch a new graphics card every five minutes, but I can go all the way back to the GTX 500 series to see how well things perform. Now, obviously we have duplicates and stuff here, but what you're gonna notice here is we have like, I think the inventory says we have like 14 1080 Ti's, including all of the, the reference cards, the ones sitting in builds like Threadripper. That's because when it's current generation, I don't sell it and I don't give it away unless it's, it's slated for giveaway. And we'll talk about the slating in a second here. So that's why you see all these 1080 Ti's sitting here on the shelf. If I wanna use one aesthetically in a build based on colors or I wanna test one, uh, I, I out of just out of good nature don't sell this stuff. None of this stuff is sent under contract. Not a single graphics card comes with the, you can't sell it, you have to keep it. None of that exists. This, the irony of it being green, this is money to a marketing department, to Nvidia, to MSI, to Asus. They do not send me a graphics card. In their side of the bookkeeping, they send me $700. Basically saying, this is your graphics card to do content with. And obviously they don't pay for reviews, they send the hardware. And that's, they take the chance for a reviewer to either love it or hate it. Like the NZXT motherboard sitting right here on my test bench, not a fan. I have been very open about that. Not a fan of this. So the fact that they send us this stuff will never influence our opinions. Maybe some people it can. Maybe some people want to protect that I want all these cards, so I'm going to be super favorable, so they'll keep sending it to me. But I think most people by now know if it's a product I don't like, I'm going to tell the audience. And more often than not, the company will come back to me, find out what I didn't like, get some more information, think, take it, and try to improve it. That's something I've achieved, and I'm really proud of that. But anyway, we go backwards to try and keep as many of these cards as we can. And as the generations move forward and the new 2000 series cards come out, you will see this top shelf really thin out. You'll see a lot less of these. We'll keep at least one founder's card of every generation. We'll keep my favorites of the custom cards and then the rest will be either given away to friends and family, maybe a couple online, but mostly I give them to friends and family quietly behind the scenes. It's no one's business who I give it to or why, but you'll see this thin out. You'll see the new cards fill in and this all sort of slides down. Let's talk about these, these builds real quick. It's obvious this is my 
personal build. And I've seen some like, Jay, how many personal builds do you need? Do you need a computer to watch YouTube on? Do you need a computer in the bathroom? Do you need a computer to do this and what? Well, wouldn't you? No, I don't obviously need all these builds. This I built because I wanted to build something just really high end and classy. Not that Skunk Works isn't, but this is going home with me and Skunk Works is coming back because the audience likes seeing Skunk Works. They wanna see Skunk Works. It was a centerpiece, it built with the channel and it's symbolic. So they wanna see it. So it's coming back here. This is my test bench. This is my 780 Ti, AKA $1,000, ridiculous pricing. This is our test bench. This is what we test things on. How do you think I know I don't like the NZXT motherboard? Because I put it together, I used it and decided like, mm -mm, I don't like it. If I just talked about it in a box, how would I know that? So obviously we have our test bench. This is Threadripper. This is a love-hate system for me. Let me explain why. This system is the only 1950X Threadripper CPU that I have. It is, uh, it'd be great for doing testing on, it'd be great for a server, it'd be great to use. So many people could use this system and do so many good things with it. I put this together and intended it to be temporary. I liked it so much, the audience liked it so much that I didn't have the heart to tear it down. Let me tell you why it's a love-hate now. Because it's the only 1950X CPU I have, I can't do any regression, regression testing or other testing with it because I'm not gonna be greedy and ask AMD for another CPU so that I can just have this one sitting here on display. I haven't bought one yet, but I more than likely will. But this system is occupying a CPU, 32 gigs of DDR4, two 1080 Ti's, a 1200 watt power supply, all the water cooling stuff that you can see, the Zenith Extreme motherboard, two radiators, five fans. Do you see what I'm getting at here? There's a lot of stuff sitting right here. This build is like, well, the current cost of graphics card, this build's like $7,000. And I feel guilty every time I look at it, but sometimes you just have to have these amazing centerpieces showcasing your work, validating what we do around here. But we also underneath it, the irony, this is not a hierarchy, I swear. We have the budget systems. These are the systems that we use to do low-end budget testing. Like we're talking scraping the bottom of the barrel. Like you've got $400 which is not a, a cheap amount of money, but you got 400 bucks and you, that's all you've got to make it work. Can you do it? Those are the systems we use for that. See the monitor is blocking it, but AMD system, another AMD and Intel system, but like super low end stuff. Uh, but anyway, that's, that's why those are there. As you can see down here, all of our cases and things, power supplies, motherboards. I have the same philosophy with motherboards because how can I go back and do future proof testing? Remember, when you're testing future proof, you're testing old hardware. Not new hardware, you can't test the future before it's arrived, so we have to go back to test that stuff. So that's why we have all these motherboards. We've got quite a few generations represented here. We've got some FX boards, Z97 and up. I wanted a Z77. I'd love to get an, an Ivy Bridge system, but I don't have one. Maybe I'll source one. But that's why we've got all of this stuff. Not all of it has stuff in it. Like there's nothing in this X99 board. This is the box for Skunk Works' motherboard. The Godlike is in pieces. Um, more ASUS boards up here, but you can see for AMD, we go all the way back to an A88X chipset. This is a Kaveri APU that came out in 2013. Do the math on that. We keep old stuff so that we can test it. Uh, here's a little fun behind the scenes. You can see right here, Jay's build. That's the one I just finished because we put everything we're using in boxes so we know where everything is. Postponed. That, that is what we have internally been calling the Post Malone build. We've been calling it postponed because it keeps getting postponed because of the album drop. Remember, his, his system is based on an album, an album that has not launched yet. I can't go forward with the build until we have the album inspiration. I'm not getting early access to his album, so I've got nothing to go by. So we're calling it postponed, which I think is gonna stick. What do you think? Do you think we should keep it? Yeah. Postponed? Yeah, for sure. Uh, moving forward, we've got, this is all the water cooling stuff down here. This shelf right here, it's all water cooling stuff. Uh, this is my dad's case right here the, that his build was in, so I keep that around. You can see we've got AMD CPU or motherboards. Check this out though, this just came in. An X370 Strix ITX Ryzen motherboard. So I'm gonna be doing an 1800X Ryzen mini ITX build. That's gonna be cool. Also got one for Z370. They sent both of these at the same time. This is gonna be for the Ghost S1. I know you didn't get focused on that, it's okay. It's all the same. They look identical. Uh, I'm gonna be doing the Ghost S1 build, that tiny little like six liter case or seven liter case, whatever it is, using one of these boards. I haven't decided which yet. All of our Ryzen CPUs you can see are back there. Threadripper sitting right there. More CPUs, RAM, 
uh, SSDs, NVMe drives, all that stuff is sitting over there. What's the point of this? Jay, why are, you, why are you doing all this? Why are you justifying yourself to the audience? I'm not. I'm giving information, I'm giving some transparency of the way we run things around here. I'm a business of hardware. I need hardware to run my business. Without this hardware, I cannot bring you guys these videos. Having cash in hand does me no good. And let's say I took the audiences, not the whole audience, the, those complaining about all my graphics cards. If I took their advice and gave all this away, it wouldn't make a single dent or even a, or even a hairline scratch in the total problem right now with GPU pricing. But if I need to do a video now where I've got to use a graphics card and I have all this cash in hand and there's no supply, what good have I done myself? So I'm kind of sitting back right now going, I made the right move by keeping all this stuff. I would have kept it any, even if the market wasn't screwed up, but that's because that is the business we do around here. I just, I didn't need to make this video clarifying anything. I didn't need to make this video justifying anything. There's nothing to justify. It's my business. It's the way I run it. You guys decide if you're going to watch it. I put the content out. It's for you to consume or to throw away. It's not my job to make you watch or convince you that the way I'm doing things is the right way. It's not up for debate. I just felt like making this video to kind of show you guys a little bit more behind the scenes and some of the ways of thinking that I operate around here. I think I'm doing things pretty good. The numbers don't seem to disagree. So guys, we're gonna go. Thanks for watching. Uh, some up updated content coming here soon. We'll talk about this real quick. This is the Ghost S1. You guys saw me do the video on this. Um, you guys haven't seen the Ghost S1 build because it's not out yet. Like the case is still uh, being funded. Well, it's been funded, it's being built now. They're gonna be sending me a silver one. This was a, this was a prototype that was sent to me. Actually, speaking of hardware laying around, we have a motherboard and a GPU sitting inside here. Obviously doing some test fitting. But yeah, this is gonna be coming up here pretty soon. We're gonna be doing that 1800X mini ITX build. Uh, Post Malone is coming in studio in one week. That's gonna be cool. He'll be here in one week if he doesn't postpone again. But uh, yeah, we've got some cool stuff coming, guys. The point of this is, I wanna make you guys the best content that I can make as an amateur. And uh, it's up to you guys to hopefully like it or not, not like it. With that said, guys, I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.